So where is everyone moving to in 2023 and 2024? That's exactly where we're going to find out in today's video. In our last video, we talked about cities in the US that will see a drop in their population over the next handful of years leading up to the 2030 census. In this video, we're looking at the other side of that coin with the cities that are or will be exploding their population in the next few years and probably beyond. Why do cities see giant jumps in their population? Well, that could be one or a combination of factors. The biggest factors always seem to be the average pay or salary, housing costs, and unemployment rate. Right now, the US unemployment rate is 3.4%. In case you don't know, that's a pretty low number. The cities on this list are lower than that, but not by much. In normal times, they usually sit somewhere around one or 2% lower than the national average. This video isn't just about those three stats. Other things get them on the list, and I'll mention those as we get to each city. Got it? Get it? Good. Let's take a look. Number 10, Fort Worth, Texas. Fort Worth is the fifth most populous city in Texas, and it's known for its stockyards, its museums, and its cowboy culture. Yeehaw! The city's also home to a number of colleges and some pretty good ones in the immediate area. Texas Christian University, the University of North Texas, and over in Arlington, you have the University of Texas at Arlington. It's also known for being part of the Dallas-Fort Worth metro area. A lot of people live here if they don't want to be in downtown Dallas, but they still got to be close. Fort Worth has has a lot of really nice neighborhoods. Now, one of the biggest reasons people will stay in an area like this is normally the universities. Either they work for it or they went there and decided to stay in the area. And that's a strong driver for the population growth in the Fort Worth area. It's a nice place. When you go to college in a nice place, you kind of look around and go, you know what? I think I'll stay here. Fort Worth has only had one census where they actually lost population. In the 1980 census, they lost 2%. I think that's a fluke and had something to do with that billionaire that got shot. J.R. Ewing, yeah. Yeah, that put a cloud over the whole Dallas, Fort Worth metro area. People were flooding out of there. Once everyone realized that was just a TV show, they started moving back in. Everything's been fine. All right, let's look at the stats. Fort Worth, Texas has a population of about 935,000 residents. The median home price is right around $300,000. And that does sound like a lot, I know, when you're looking at the median prices. But this is a really nice place to live, so it makes sense. The unemployment rate here in 2023 is only 3%. And the people here get paid pretty good. The average annual salary is about $59,000. Fort Worth is expected to grow by 20% by the 2030 census. Number nine, San Diego, California. San Diego is the second largest city in California and the eighth largest city in the United States. It's also considered the best weather in the US and it sits right on the Pacific Ocean, not too far from the Mexico border. Technically, there's two parts to San Diego. There's what I would call the main body of it, which is just like a five, 10 minute short drive north of the Mexico border. Well, then there's Chula Vista and then there's San Ysidro and Ote Mesa, which is part of San Diego, but it's detached from it and that's on the border. Now, I don't know all the ins and outs of that. I know Los Angeles has something similar where you have downtown LA or Los Angeles, the city, and then there's this long stretch of just like a road or two that goes down to the Long Beach Harbor so the harbor can be connected to Los Angeles. But San Diego is known for its mild climate, its beautiful beaches, and its many attractions, including the San Diego Zoo, Balboa Park, USS Midway Museum. They got Legoland down in that area. SeaWorld. San Diego is another city where a lot of people stay there after college. San Diego State University is right there. And me personally, I know probably 10 people that have stayed there over the years. And that happens a lot. And just not the people I know. One of the biggest reasons in San Diego is so popular. I mean, besides the weather, that's usually the mainstay, but a lot of it has to do with its affordability. It is expensive, but compared to other places in California, it's not that expensive. The cost of living in San Diego is about 4% above the national average. That's not bad. I've also seen reports that it's like 10 or 11, but most people think it's about 4% above the national average. They've also got growing jobs. And in my opinion, the traffic's not as bad as Los Angeles, San Francisco, and a few other places in California. Actually, it's not nearly as bad as Los Angeles. Here's the stats. San Diego has about 1.4 million residents. The median home price is, this is another one that's I got mixed signals on, it's 735000 or 859000 That is expensive, but for what you're getting, that's not terrible. And it's continuing to grow and it's very popular, so some people can't afford that. Their unemployment rate is about 3%, and the average annual salary here is about $79,000. Yes, San Diego is out of a lot of our budgets, but not out of everyone's budget. San Diego is expected to grow by 21% by the 2030 census. 
Number eight, San Antonio, Texas. San Antonio is the second largest city in Texas, and it's known for the River Walk, which I famously went to to film and didn't realize it was the week that they actually drained the river for cleaning. Who drains a river for cleaning? And I mean, that's on me. I didn't check into it, but who thinks that if you're not from there, you have no idea they actually drain a river to clean it. And of all the weeks to pick for me to go, I go on that week. San Antonio is also home to a number of colleges and universities, including the University of Texas at San Antonio and Trinity College. It is also known, even though it didn't make the list for the most military towns, but it's known as Military City USA. Sadly, I just read Grady's Barbecue is closing after 70 years in San Antonio. But San Antonio is a great city and a great place to live. Here's the stat. San Antonio, Texas has a population of about 1.5 million residents. Their median home price is about $260,000. That is very affordable. Their unemployment rate is about 3%, and the average annual salary is about $57,000 a year. By 2030, they are expected to grow by 21%. Number seven, Denver, Colorado. Denver, Colorado is one of my favorite cities and it's the capital and most populous city in the U.S. state of Colorado. Denver's located in the South Platte River Valley on the eastern edge of the Rocky Mountains. The city is known for its high altitude and vibrant art scene. They definitely got a lot of art there, a lot of good beer also. High altitude is why they call it the Mile High City. They're also a four-star sports city. That's what I heard this guy call it, but they have all four major sports, football, baseball, basketball, and a hockey team. Again, they have a number of really good Good colleges and universities. University of Colorado at Boulder, which is north of downtown Denver. It's about a 30 minute drive northwest. They also got the University of Denver, which I haven't heard too much about, but it's in town. Denver, Colorado has a population of about 717,000 residents. Their median home price is about 420,000 and their unemployment rate is 2.8%. The average salary in the Denver metro area is just about $78,000. Denver grew by 19.2% between 2010 and 2020, and they're estimated to grow another 23% at the 2030 census. Number six, Charlotte, North Carolina. Charlotte's been pretty popular for the last couple decades, and that's not slowing down. Charlotte is the largest city in the Carolinas and is known for its banking industry, its sports teams, and its growing economy. The city's home to a whole bunch of Fortune 500 companies, including Bank America, Wells Fargo, and Duke Energy. I had thought about moving to the Charlotte area at one point. It's going to buy a lake house at Lake Norman, which is north of Charlotte. The whole area is beautiful. Charlotte has a population of about 884,000 residents. The entire metro area has about 2.6 million. So it's pretty good size metro area. It's just Charlotte has under a million residents. The median listing price for a home in Charlotte is about $420,000 and the unemployment rate is about 2.9. The average annual salary is right around $74,000 and they don't have an extremely high cost of living. So that keeps people coming in. It leaves people with decent jobs. Now there are a lot of suburbs and stuff around the Charlotte metro area that are more affordable than let's say Charlotte, that also brings a lot of people in. Charlotte is expected to grow by 24% by the 2030 census. Number five, Nashville, Tennessee. Nashville is the capital of Tennessee and it's known for its country music scene, its food, and its southern hospitality. It's also known for having a really good time. It's really hard to go to Nashville on a Friday or Saturday night and not have some fun. This is another city that's home to a number of colleges and universities, including Vanderbilt University and Belmont University. Most of the people that move here, I would say outside of job and family type situations, are going to be somewhat into the music scene. Whether they're a musician, they just want to live that life, something like that like that. That draws a lot of people here. Always has. Sideburns for men are now optional. It seemed like back in the day, every single person had big old sideburns, like it was a requirement. The city of Nashville has a population of about 690,000 residents, with the entire metro area having just under 2 million residents, making them the 36th largest city in the U.S. The city itself, though, is ranked 21st in the U.S., and it's the largest in Tennessee. The median home price here is about 325000 I have seen things where people are saying it's closer to 360000 That's what it is. Their employment rate is 3.1%, and the average salary in Nashville is $63,000, which isn't bad because they don't have a crazy cost of living either. Nashville also is expecting to see about a 24% increase in their population by the 2030 census. 
Number four, Raleigh, North Carolina. Raleigh is the capital of North Carolina, and it's known for its research triangle, its colleges, and its universities. It's also got a growing economy, really strong economy here. The city is home to a number of Fortune 500 companies as well, including IBM, Cisco, and Fidelity Investments. It is not hard to find a job here. If you got health problems, that's why a lot of retirees will move to this area of the country because Raleigh, the Raleigh-Durham metro area, has really good health care. All right, here's the stats. Raleigh has a population of about 470,000 residents. Their median home price is about $360,000. And their unemployment rate is 3.1%. The average salary in Raleigh, North Carolina is around $70,000. Raleigh's population is expected to grow by 27% by the 2030 census. That'll be a definite jump, especially if you consider whole metro area, which already has about 1.4 million residents. Number three, Columbus, Ohio. Columbus, Ohio is, it's not the greatest, but it's probably the best major city Ohio has to offer. A lot of companies move there. They have a lot of jobs. A lot of people really like this city. Been there a few times. Uh, it's pretty nice. I was there one time when it was really hot, and then the other times it was like snowing pretty bad. Never had a chance to get to Columbus when it's just decent weather. Columbus is the capital and the most populous city in Ohio. The city is located in the central part of the state. Columbus is kind of known for their sports. They don't have a lot of professional sports. They have the Columbus Crew in the MLS, which is soccer. And then in the NHL, they have the Columbus Blue Jackets. They have some minor league teams, but really why people come here and why this is such a good sports town the Ohio State Buckeyes. They also got a lot of Fortune 500 companies, including J.P. Morgan Chase and Nationwide Insurance. Here's the stats. Columbus, Ohio has a population of about 906,000 residents, with the entire metro area having about 2.1 million. The median home price is about $260,000, and their unemployment rate is 2.9%, and their average salary is about $57,000. This is one that I found different numbers on. There's one study that thinks they'll grow about 14%, but another one that thinks they're going to grow about 28% by the 2030 census. Number two, Phoenix, Arizona. Phoenix is the capital of Arizona and the fifth largest city in the United States. The city is known for its warm climate and desert landscapes. It's also known for having a really good economy. Personally, I think they have one of the strongest economies in the nation, at least going forward. Probably the next five or six years, you're really going to see a lot of companies and a lot of people move into Phoenix. They've already gotten a bunch, but I think they're going to be getting a lot more. So it makes sense that they're on this list. Phoenix is another good place where you might need skin grafts. I mean, if you sit down on pleather seats in your car and you're wearing shorts, yeah, you could have some like third degree burns. It gets pretty brutal there. Phoenix has some really nice cities in their metro area. Mesa, Glendale, Gilbert, Chandler, Scottsdale. The entire metro area of Phoenix has a, almost 5 million residents, which makes it the 11th largest metro area in the U.S. Phoenix is also home to companies like Intel, Boeing, and American Express. Here's the stats. Like I said, Phoenix has a population of about 1.6 million residents. The median home price is about $335,000. Keep in mind, median is different from the average. The average is probably closer to 450. The unemployment rate in Phoenix is 3.1% and the average annual salary is $67,000. Phoenix is another city that has conflicting estimates on what their growth is going to be. Some studies have them around 17 or 18 percent and others have them around 27 and 28 percent. All right, before we get to number one, don't forget we have another channel called On This Day. There's a link for that down below. All right, on to number one. And number one, Austin, Texas. Austin is the capital of the great state of Texas, and it's known for its live music scene, its tech industry, and its laid back lifestyle. This is where all the hippies go in Texas. The city is also home to the University of Texas at Austin, one of the largest universities in the U.S. They also have the Colorado River flowing right through town. And no, it's not that Colorado River that goes through Arizona, Nevada, California, and New Mexico. And stop typing. The big Colorado River does not go anywhere near New Mexico. All right, if I got you, let me know in the comment section who was leaving a comment to correct me. All right, here's the stats. Austin, Texas has a population of about 964,000 residents with the entire metro area having about 24 
You want to buy a house here? It's going to set you back about $460,000. Their unemployment rate's pretty low. It's 2.8%. And the average salary is also really good here. It's about $81,000. Not a bad chunk of change. Austin, Texas is estimated to grow by 29% by the 2030 census. All right, that's today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you got some information out of it. Now go out, have a great day, and be nice to each other.